Hi, my name's Phil. I like to talk about politics. In this video, I'd like to discuss the news that the British government are threatening to ban all forms of outdoor exercise if people do not follow the current measures. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, then please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So we are at the moment two weeks into the lockdown in the UK with one more week to go before the situation is to be reviewed and either continued on present measures, tightened or relaxed. Obviously, we know it's not going to be relaxed. While the death toll continues to mount up, um, that just leaves steady as she goes or an even tighter lockdown. Now, at the end of the first week, the government was saying, oh, the measures are working. Uh, and I said at the time that it would be impossible to draw any conclusion at that point and that they were likely making this statement to keep people's resolve up. However, the message at the end of the second week is rather different. It's now about pointing the finger and talking about banning outdoor activities if people don't behave. Now, I know that there have been problems in my area. I don't really have a, a reliable national outlook, of course. You can always see anecdotal evidence. But in my area, I know there have been issues with groups of cyclists, cycling clubs, basically still going out doing their thing. And in groups, not individually or like several metres, uh, you know, uh, in front or behind of each other but no actually in normal cycling groups um, there have been people congregating in parks you know sunbathing for goodness sake other places where it wouldn't be unusual to see scenes like that on a normal sunny day in the UK but of course in the current climate people are supposed to be in those places for exercise and, and to maintain social distancing while they are there this is not happening so and there's an element of speculation in this because the government have never been open and honest about the situation from day one. You've literally gone from a point where they say, oh yeah, the measures are working, keep it up to. You're not doing it right. Will you stop not doing it right? Um, but you'd get from this that the national view is that not enough people are taking the measures seriously. They, the, the, that is the government will know that this is gonna translate into many thousands more deaths. And I said before all this that the government will have to be dragged kicking and screaming towards the measures that will ultimately be needed. More so than in some other Western countries. I think in Western democracies in general, the general population don't take too kindly to being told what to do by government, particularly if what the government are telling you to do is to massively curtail your normal you know, pattern of life. But in the UK, we're currently run by the hard right, whose political views are totally at odds with the idea of government interference in people's daily lives. So Boris Johnson started off by saying to people, can you not go out? It's actually going to help if you just don't go out. That didn't work. So then he said, right, I'm shutting the pubs. That didn't work either. So then he ordered many businesses to close down and for people to stay indoors with a few provisos. That was two weeks ago. But now Matt Hancock, the health secretary, has said that too many people are flouting the rules and that the government could just ban outdoor exercise if it continues. And you would assume that this time next week would be when they announce any new measures. So that would leave travel outside of your home for the purposes of work, medical need and groceries being the only reasons to go out at all. Now, there will be thinking, people thinking at this point rather, good, because that's what we're going to need to do. But of course, it isn't as simple as that. Uh, like I said, the current government will really not want to do that. I wouldn't put it past them for this to be some sort of desperate bluff. And as any parent or teacher will tell you, from bitter experience potentially, never issue an ultimatum unless you are prepared to back it up. If they do not now implement this measure, they've now talked about it. As far as people will be concerned with the reports, the government are saying if people aren't behaving, then we're going to introduce this measure this week. That means if they don't introduce this measure this week, unless they're going to try and say everyone is now behaving themselves, um, they'll lose all credibility. Because the bottom line is that people will continue to flout the rules. These threats may get a few people to rethink their behaviour, but by no means everyone. And the government already has a problem with consistency. So Matt Hancock, for example, and bear in mind, Matt Hancock actually, out of the current cabinet, is one of the sensible ones. It's a relative term because... There's a couple of issues with him recently. One, he said in a press conference that he really shouldn't have been given, given that he's ill. And I quote, he said, this advice is not a request, it is an instruction. Well, then it's not advice, is it? 
By definition, advice cannot be an instruction. It is a suggestion. It is, you might like to consider doing this, but it's your choice. So confusingly poor use of English is not going to help here. In addition, he was opening up the, new, the newly built emergency hospital last week, clearly ill, and also with loads of other people there all, you know, together. No attempt whatsoever to distance themselves from each other's. That's on television. What message is that sending to the general population? My fear is that they reluctantly tighten the measures by a little bit. They'll always do what they think is the minimum, but their judgment of what is the minimum is, is totally out of kilter with reality. So they'll title, tighten the measures a little. It will fail because they will fail to clearly communicate what the measures are and it won't actually address the main problems. And if they do really try to clamp down, then they are going to discover, if they didn't already know, two massive problems. One is that we do not have the police numbers to do this, thanks to the cuts. It would be a difficult enough task at any time. And, and the second thing is, you know, the people that are not taking this seriously, they, they don't see this as a danger. They don't see their behaviour as, as risking themselves or others. That's why they're doing it. Um, you know, and these people who don't think, who, who don't take it seriously because they don't think there's a need to, and who have no respect for a government that's not even following its own guidance, will just buy it back. There'll be social unrest, civil disobedience at a time when we actually need the country to come together. And again, we don't have the police to deal with it. And we could create an unholy mess out of this. And then there's the other thing to consider as well, just finally. If you ban all going outside your house for, for the purpose of exercise. And there was someone alluding to this on, on Twitter. And, th and there'd be people sat there in their houses going, well, good, because I can manage it. Why can't you? And what are they doing? Going into the garden to get some fresh air or something like that. What about people crammed into a small flat that's not a very nice place to be at the best of times? Um, you're really not going to keep them indoors. And yeah, it, it's... Again, it just comes from one of these things that they're just reacting. I've got no doubt at all that this statement from the Health Secretary is a reaction, not something they've been thinking about for weeks. The government have tried to give the impression they're doing the measures at the, the right measure at the right time, they keep saying. Absolute rubbish, we know that. But that would suggest that they're thinking of all the possible scenarios well in advance and considering what is the best thing to do in each one. No, they're not. They're reacting immediately to things as, the, as and when they happen. And I think that is going to mean that in a week's time, they're almost certain to make the wrong decision. But we'll see. We'll wait for that week to come and go. I uh, hope you found the video interesting anyway. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, then please also click the Patreon link for details. And until next time, I'll see you later.